Alright, um, two things. The boss that we just fought with the giant co uh, giant dome on its head was called Tempest. And um, the pilot of Neath, I'm stupid because this was mentioned in a cutscene earlier, her name is Viola. Aside from that, uh, I think we're pretty much caught up on everything. Uh, we're going to do do an we're going to go do a, an S SOS mission right now. So uh, we'll see how I do with that. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm not going to be redoing these if I get a really crappy grade on them. I'm just gonna try as best as I can not to lose too much of the. Uh, the area. Let me indicate with a marker the buildings which have vital activity. In such buildings, defenseless citizens unable to flee still remain. There are many people still in the buildings, Leo, so be careful. I know, but at least I have to exterminate the enemy in this area. Alright. So the thing that's mostly a pain in the butt about these areas is that even if you're fighting a completely different enemy, um, or even if you're not fighting any enemies at all, um, buildings may still get blown up just by stray fire. It can happen from battles that you're in currently, or maybe somebody will just be patrolling and they'll shoot a stray shot that'll blow. Yeah, see right there? I couldn't have done anything about that. That's why I don't feel like redoing these areas if I fail on them. Because really, you know, it's all up to luck. Uh, as far as who you're going to save. I mean, there's probably a certain order you can go into fighting these guys, but I just don't get the point of that, you know? Like, why why frustrate myself that much over losing a few, uh, a few of these survivors? Like, there's no real benefit to it. Aside from, I think you get, like, some tiny change to the ending. Get out from there. No! Ah! You're an idiot! Why would you shoot downwards? I'm up here. See, you made me blow up a house. Such an idiot. I will report damage to neighboring areas from this battle. There are a few damaged buildings. A few were injured or killed. I know you did your best, Leo. A few. That's generally as well as I do. A few. That was so dumb. Why would he shoot downwards towards a building instead of, you know, towards the guy who's shooting at him? Just trying to get him away from there. Didn't work out very well. Alright, let's see what's here. I'm sure there's something important. We have obtained the program. Aha, phalanx. This is, uh, this is one of our weapons. See right down in the, uh, the bottom right corner. That shows us our weapons, and then the bottom left, of course, is our health. <coughs> uh, the top right shows how many squads are left in the area that you're currently in. I think they uh, they come back each time you revisit an area. And then uh, to the right of our health bar is, is a little level 2 that just shows uh, how far we've progressed as far as, like... I don't know how you level up. Um, I think it's just in general probably how many enemies you fight. It's more or less how powerful you are, how much health you have. I'm not I'm not sure on the exact information, but uh anyways, let's get out of here. So I believe she said uh Ada said that we need to get back to the factory now. So let's head over there. Um factory, yes. This is where we want to be. <coughs> Excuse me. God. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like this would be a cool game to LP. It's... It's, um... It's not the best game I own, but it's pretty fun. transplant the necessary information. But first, we need to destroy the enemy with the passcode for the local server. I see. The star-marked frames show the leaders. Destroying the leader first will lower the level of the entire party. I was just about to explain that, but I think she explained it pretty well. So I'll leave it at that. Generally, uh, you want to fight the leader first, so that's the guy with the star next to his level. Because once you do that, all the other enemies drop down to level 1. 
and they pretty much die in one shot. So that's the strategy for those guys. That right there will give us ammo, so I, why don't we take these guys out, get some ammo so I can show off the phalanx. I think it's kind of just like a burst shot. Damn it! Ah. See, you can't fight anybody without having half the colony getting blown up. Yeah, this is just like a shotgun blast, more or less. It's kind of what the mummy heads shoot as their normal gun. At least I think that's correct. Uh, but yeah. Not my favorite weapon. We won't be using phalanx too much. Um... We were supposed to find... God! You know... Never mind. <coughs> Here's what we want. <coughs> We have obtained the program. Let me give you the next mission instructions. Blah, Depart blah, the blah. Area. Go to the... Blah. Leave. That's what she wants us to do. Leave. Leave before more stuff gets blown up. This Let game's silly. The current situation status. The enemy has taken over the colony's EPS system in order to win mastery of the air. EPS? All civilian flying objects in the colony are fueled by microwave energy from the outer EPS system. Epsilon. As mandated by the environmental protection law. Escargo. The enemy mm. is using the EPS to form a barrier. Epsilon a Eagle. Energy field in Alien the Soldier. The colony. It's a good game. You mean it's dangerous? Escargo yes. is dangerous. Being within the energy field, Europa. Phantom. Ferris wheel. But any vital life form You're would not survive. Leo. So what can we do? We have no choice but to disrupt the energy field by destroying the EPS system. We're gonna have to use our eco-location to locate an eclair so that we can jam the electronic system of their elements and energy using Epsilon Eagle's error messages and throwing escargot at their their defenses their defense systems of Europa. Um, we'll be bombarded by a phantoma and feedback from radio garble in a ferris wheel. Our formation will be like a fortress of foxtails, and our ebonite will be echinusism. Oh, what? So, the shaft and two antennas. Okay, let's do it. Current status is that the EPS antennas are not accessible. We should journey to block D07, where the shaft is located. I will show you with a marker on the screen. Pretty sure that place is blocked off, though. We okay. need a sniper rifle. I suggest you restrict yourself to your duties. Yes, we get a sniper know, rifle. But... It's not very useful. Let's do the SOS mission, because we're nice people. Ah, no! I didn't want to do that. I pressed circle. I meant to boost. Well, we're back here. Nuts to this place. I've been there twice. Twice too many. Ah! So yeah, there is some revisiting of areas. Here we go. Oh no, they already lost one. Well, that happened. Oh well. Go save the world. Oh wait, weren't we just- we were just here. This isn't even a new area, we're just saving people. Detected vital activity near the church where your passenger was uploaded. Let's go blow up the church anyways. Leo, can we go save them? I will mark the building with vital activity. Blow them up on purpose. Hello, survivors! We will hold battle position. But yeah, that spin attack that I just did there, that's the, uh, that's the burst attack for the sword. And the burst attack for the, uh, the ranged attack is this. You can actually, uh, try and hit these guys. Did I hit them? I don't know if I did. Maybe they just blew up more buildings. They probably- Ah, oh, I blew up more buildings. Guess what I'm doing? Blowing up more buildings. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I actually just looked it up before recording this episode. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It seems that. Stop it! It seems that uh, by level 3. 
but it seems that by level 3, um, the mummy heads become the most annoying to destroy, mostly because they have a laser attack, and once you have to fight multiple mummy heads at once that are all shooting lasers at you, it gets to be a real big pain in the butt. So these guys are the Cyclops I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I mentioned, because we've seen them before. Probably in the last episode, but I didn't mention them when we saw them. Yeah, yeah, we you told me. Our ship's computer is really a nag. We have obtained the program. Ooh, Javelin. Javelin is actually pretty good. It lets us throw stuff pretty... Pretty decent range. But yeah, what I always thought was cool about the combat system is, in this game is just how smoothly it plays, you know? It's very, it's very fast, but it's also very simple, even though there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So, you know, just like the 3D kind of, you know, you move around your enemy, the camera recenters on them after you finish boosting. I just really like it, you know? Mission and I will report damage to neighboring areas from this battle. And they actually make really good use of the versus mode. No that's this nice. That's that's pretty nice. Nobody died. I always like having nobody die. Oh wait, was I guess one hundred percent of the civilians were probably at the church though. I don't know. <clears throat> or at least a good amount of them. I didn't check. I just blew up stuff. That was my job. That's what I did. Yes. But, uh, I forgot what I was saying before, so let's go to the city. And, yes, the city is just one giant tube jutting out of the colony. I don't know why. The energy field has already reached the city. No sign of vital activity in this block. I assume the microwave energy field has eliminated all vital forms. That sucks. That's awful. So, what do you suggest? Destroy the EPS relay block at the base of the shaft. You mean I shoot from here? Yes, but it is a long shot. Besides, Jehuti's energy weapons will not work within the field. We should find some primitive long-distance weapon to impact the target physically. Like a what sniper rifle. A we have confirmed the conditions at the target. Let us leave now and locate a suitable weapon. Alright, so yeah, um, I think we have to shoot those white things with a sniper rifle, but we can't do it right now, so, uh, I don't think we can even fight these guys. We may be able to- yeah, they can pass through the force field. We can fight them, but it, it's not really a great idea to do so. Um, it's kind of a waste of time. The only one we really want to fight are the ones with the passcodes. Or other important stuff. Um, trying to think which one gives us the uh, sniper rifle. Let's check Town 2. Yeah, I think Town 2 may be the one that gives us the sniper rifle. Um, not sure on that. We'll check. We will find out. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, they do, um, they do make a note to highlight that certain area with that crashed robot each time. That'll come into play later on. Um, it's kind of a subtle hint. It appears there is a hidden object in this area. Oh my. Vector trap? Vector trap. It is one of the Metatron-related technologies. Metatron. The weapon storage system and the Orenbeck catapult are some of its applications. Megatron. When you apply high energy and high speed rotation to Metatron, you can observe an effect where false space is pulled into the direction of its axis. By simultaneously putting an object at the equilibrium point of compression and expansion, space will recover to its normal condition. Damn you, science! I can't understand you. Say it more simply. Destroy the objects called Porter in this area, and then something will happen. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> there are several Porters. They are small, and besides, you cannot lock onto them, so be careful when you search for them. So yeah, uh, the Porters, these little purple things, we want to shoot at them to reveal... something. We have destroyed a Porter. And when we destroy all of them, or at least some point while we're destroying all of them, we will, uh... We have destroyed a Porter. We will find a sniper rifle. 
or something along those lines. We have destroyed a portal. No, not something along those lines. It's just a sniper rifle. We have destroyed a portal. Oh, stop blowing stuff up. You guys are such jerks. Blow up your face with a giant ball of energy. See, I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't even bother with it, because they're gonna blow up. They're gonna blow up this place anyways. I I could probably be more careful, but you know what? Why Why would I? It's hardly worth it. You know what? That house over there. That house is tougher than I thought. <laughs> I'll <clears throat> I'll let that house live for now. This house, on the other hand, it has a uh, has an ingrown pool. Wait, I, why would that be an ingrown pool? Not ingrown, uh, inbuilt, built-in, built-in pool. A pool of which is built in. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle. Position. I will stand on your house. I will slide on your- I will skate on your house. I will fail at skating on your house. Alright. That one wasn't helpful. Don't want to fight those guys. I don't know why, I just tend to go through with the fights. I could technically run away, but uh, I just never want to. <laughs> oh wait. Is this, is this one? There we go. I don't know. What we'll use. Don't know why I was missing it before. It should work. <coughs> Let's head for the shaft. You know, they say it's a primitive weapon from Earth, and yet, I mean, it shoots pretty freaking far. Or no, I mean, what does it look like? May let me see what it looks like. We will hold. If, if a giant robot can hold it, I mean, that's something, isn't it? It's not very primitive if they made it for a giant robot. Colony damage increasing due to battle. Oh, stop damaging the colony then. Wait, no, stop. There we go. Alright, L2. L2 is to lock on and then L1 is to uh, get rid of the lock on and then you can run away. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I couldn't get away or I couldn't change area until I uh, got rid of the lock on. Alright, I guess we have enough time. We'll do the sniper thing. And, oh yeah, we have another cutscene. We can go over 20 minutes. After that cutscene, we'll, uh, we'll stop the video, and ne then next time we'll, uh, do some other stuff. More stuff is to be done. I'm glad, because the first time I played this game, I got stuck quite a bit. This time around, it's a lot less like that. There we go. Yeah, bear with me, I may not be able to hit all these on my first try. Oh, go away! Go away! You are a butt's face. You are a face's butt. You, you, think you have boxing gloves, you're gonna stab me with your pokey arms. Stringy arm pokes. Pokey arm strings. Armstrong. Oh, there's the guy. This guy. They shoot lasers and it does way too much damage. It is a butt move beyond all other butt moves. And the best way to fight them is to do that. Just shoot your giant uh, laser beam. Oh, another... What? You guys get out of here. Yeah, this is, this is the absolute best way to take out these guys if they're giving you trouble. And they gave me health. That's nice. Oh, nice. It's so nice. Give me health. Oh my. Um. Kyle does a much better smoker voice than I do. Oh my. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm trying to blow up your tower. Just don't get in my way. I just want to blow up your tower, that's all. I'm not trying to be a jerk face. I'm just blowing up your tower of microwaves. Hey! Get over here! I can't hit these for crap. Alright, this may take a while. I'm almost out of ammo. I'd better uh, improve my aim. 
There we go. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Oh god. Went to screensaver. Dangerous. Go over here, it'll come by faster. Um. <coughs> Damn it! Yes! Oh my god, with the last shot, too. I did it! I did it! EPS has switched its power supply to an emergency generator. Power is still being supplied to the EPS by an emergency generator we were unable to destroy. But since the field has shrunk, we can now approach the EPS antennas on top of the mountains. Next target is a couple of antennas. Yep. Alright, so we can, uh... We can completely explore this area now, and we can get this passcode. Oh god. Good thing we're fighting level 2 guy first, because otherwise we'd have to deal with Mr. Laser Pants right here. And I don't like dealing with Mr. Laser Pants, because lasers can hurt. Hurting lasers. There we go. <coughs> Alright, Geyser. I think Geyser is just a weapon, and it's not a very good weapon at that. So it wasn't entirely necessary to do that, but who doesn't like passcodes? You can see two EPS antennas on the mountains ahead of us. We number can one, now approach them number and destroy two. them. Number one, number two. We're gonna go to number one first. But alas, we'll be saving that for next time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, next time, EPS one and maybe EPS two, but no promises. Probably, probably both. But I don't know. All right, see ya.